9.9 WAOW, we've got you covered. We do begin tonight with artificial intelligence and its growing impact on the Badger State. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Langben. And I'm Eric Morotek. The concern has led Governor Tony Evers to create a task force to study it and propose some regulations, perhaps. News 9's Viana King joins us with the details. Melissa, Eric, it's no secret that artificial intelligence is changing the way we see technology. That's why Governor Evers' task force is made up of professionals from colleges, health systems, and even Microsoft, all to learn more about AI and the best practices to use it. One of the 30 members of the governor's task force on AI is the Dean of Agricultural Science at North Central Technical College. And while it's not something he's necessarily expected, he's willing to do his part. Um, we are all coming together to really look at uh, how the governor's task force can uh, make sure that all of the technology that is coming out, um, how does it affect industry? And then how can we make sure it's uh, you know, used uh, equitably and it is inclusive of all, everyone in Wisconsin. As helpful as AI can be, it has proven that people's privacy could be at risk. Politicians are kind of fearful that as we do interviews like this, they can take these clips, take our voices and manipulate it so it makes us say something that actually wasn't said by us. In spite of all this, the task force is supposed to collect data based on their expertise to help political leaders figure out how AI can be used in a helpful way. Does it affect industry? And then how can we make sure it's uh, you know, used uh, equitably and it is inclusive of all, everyone in Wisconsin? And then um, how, do we, how do we craft and um, you know, craft regulation around that and how do we uh, fund it? Um, so that really is the three subcommittees that make up the larger group. In part, he says they're already working to improve internet access to those that need it. As technology is being brought, how do we make sure that people in small communities in the north who probably don't have broadband access right now um, had the same access that people in, in the suburbs or inner city of Milwaukee or Madison have. In the end, the goal is to ensure the safety of everyone while creating something that can benefit the people of Wisconsin. The legislation that regulates um, different types of AI use in areas and how do we how do we start bringing people together to get bills written around how do we utilize AI artificial intelligence for um, you know all these different industries but make sure we keep people safe keep the information that's being collected safe um, and protect all the end users over the next few months, the task force will be looking into how AI affects students, businesses, and the government, and will eventually present their findings to lawmakers to see if any policies need to be made. In studio, Viana King, News 9, WOW.